Fez Show. Getting ready to wrap this one up. A little business to take care of before we do, though. Are you too tired for this, Fez? I could try it. Yeah. If I'm too tired, I'll admit it. <laughs> I'll just scream, I'm too tired. And that'll be your cue. That'll be your hint. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little something for the... Uh... The Redskins pregame show, Fuzzy. So we're going to just discuss some things about the upcoming preseason game. It's going to be this Saturday night. You can listen to it right here on 106.7 WJFK. Redskins taking on the Carolina Panthers. What's going to happen in the preseason, uh, in the pregame show, is Larry Michaels is going to throw it to us. Yeah. So we'll be talking to Larry here. Even though it's going to sound like we're talking to him. But, uh, you know, it's not true. This is pre-recorded. <laughs> so, basically, we're just supposed to talk about the game. Right. And how we feel about the Carolina Panthers. So, our thoughts, yeah, our thoughts on the game and the Panthers. And then we throw it back to Larry when we're done. I just want to point out to a lot of our producers, one of you guys be in here, because we have to wrap up in two minutes, right? Yeah. I don't know if we can even do that in two minutes. High and goodbye has got to be 45 seconds. I was, I was told, I just talked to Cameron again, and I was mm -hmm. told we can, I mean, we can go over two minutes. What'd you do? Call the lawyers? Why do you gotta keep bothering him? <laughs> well, Why do you gotta bother the boss at he, home? He's actually, he's like the producer for the Redskins. I know, but it's late at night, and why bother him? Because this is for him. Alright, so what are you saying on the two minutes now? You can go, two, it doesn't have to be a hard two minutes. It doesn't have to be a hard two minutes. Well, we we oh. tried to do one that we were told was too long, and that was two and a half minutes. No, it wasn't that it was too long, but they were just going to do some some editing here and there. But that's what I got told today when I came back in. When we were done today, it was 2.45. Then when I came back in this afternoon, I was told, we want to get it down to two minutes. No, I said they were editing out about a minute. But you said the re that that was okay because they wanted it down to two minutes anyway. Well, I... The majority of that was because they had to take out a couple of things that Ronnie had said. So they were taken out about a minute. I said, uh, puss. And then I later said F Y, but I didn't say the F part. Because I always thought that the Red you thought John Fox and F Y. I thought it was uh, cable broadcast. Because when I watch uh, stuff, it's normal on ESPN. So I didn't know. <laughs> All right, so, but we should try to keep it to two minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, at least. What do you mean, at least? What At, at most, what is it? At most? Eight. No, at most, like, you know, like 245, 230. All right. You, what you did was okay. I was just telling you, though, that they couldn't end up cutting out a minute because of some of the things they had to edit. I said content. one thing, puss and f wide. <laughs> and that took a minute? <laughs> and I say this. <laughs> Well, the way I said it. But uh, I say put it out there and wait and see if there's complaints. Yeah. Well. How do we know where the line is unless we cross it every once in a while? It's always easier to step back, I think. Yes, I agree. <laughs> you go over the line, you know. We may not, I would rather apologize than try to guess what the public wants. <laughs> Who are we, Madison Avenue? No, we just do what we do. What does Madison Avenue mean? Is it, they all in the same street? Yeah, I guess all those ad firms. Yeah. That's how it works. Do you want me to play the role of Larry Michael? No, not really. Okay. No, because I'm not going to go out of my way to ask Larry how the wife and kids are, because he's not going to answer me anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm, right, I'll, I'll I'm just going to say thanks, Larry. <laughs> then wait. <laughs> and I'll throw in a little line after that. Okay. And now I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. You're going to be able to do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I just try to handle this like a couple of football guys, all right? Okay. That's yeah. us. <laughs> all right. And I'll have to, I'm turning these other two mics off, so, because you've had this uh, habit of just running into Mike Ford tonight, just you know, hitting it with a shoulder block. You know what? I don't even know if we're going to be able to cut this on the air. We might have to do it after the air. We'll try one on the air just to see how it goes. We'll do it that way. And if it doesn't work, we'll... Uh, We'll do something in post. Yeah. You fix it in post. <laughs> fix everything in post. We'll fix it in goal post. All right. There he goes. He's leaving. We need, and now he's going to call the lawyers again.
Yeah. What we need is just somebody in here to keep an eye on the clock for us. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. So, if I can do two things at one time here. I can do it. You know, you've got to get rid of the negative attitude. Right before the things, when you yell like that, it always seems to us like you're worried about you. Well, you've got to take a, a page out of Dub's book. And Dub worries about Fez. You want to you wanna wear a bracelet that says WWJDD. What would J-Dubs do? All right, Black Girl just wrote, is this guy for real? He just writes that to us. Is he for real? You know, I'd love to get you to shadow Earl for a while. Ooh, that would be good. Just to stay with him. Me and my shadow. Yeah. But I do want... Are you okay? I want to make sure you're okay before we do this bit. I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Never a problem. You're my first producer I had to worry about all the time. It's just that I, I get nervous when you leave the room because I swear you're going to a phone. Yeah. We got to know that you're not calling the, the law firm. <laughs> do not call Mr. Levine! I, I just I had not just talked, uh, spoken with Cameron. I talked with him. You just said you hadn't just talked with him. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> we are so going to be doing this after the show. Yeah, this is not going to work out during the show. <laughs> yes, it will. Let's you guys face are great. it. Be... I know we're great. We handed in something great today. Yeah. Only one of us apparently said pussy. Which it you? It doesn't matter who did it. We're a team. Mm. Okay. You think it matters which one is Shields and Yarn now? Did something? I just wonder how that one word turned into a whole minute. <laughs> Why were you cutting a minute out, Hefe? I didn't cut a minute. Our imaging guy did. Who's our imaging guy? Chris. Well, he should be in here so we get it right. Yeah, that should be the thing. The guy who has the final say is the guy that you should be doing the bit with. But we literally were in here um, during the O'Reilly show, and the guy wouldn't turn down O'Reilly while we were doing it. We had O'Reilly in our ears as Travis was running the board in here. Travis, who hits me in the in the face almost every day with the stairwell door. And, you know, uh, I heard O'Reilly doing a spin. He may say it's a no-spin zone, but I thought I heard some spinning today. <laughs> it's sit and spin. All right, so we, uh, so, and then, well, how do, all right, so we say thanks, Larry. <laughs> Shouldn't he call us now to do this part of it? <laughs> Why do we have to thank him? You know, if I'm running that show, I don't need people thanking me constantly. Let's just use that Spurrier drop from the Redskins radio promo. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Larry. And I'll go like this. No, thank you, Steve. <laughs> Steve Spurrier. Thanks for sitting in with Ron and Fez. Thanks, Larry. And then we throw it back to Larry. Let's just keep bringing up the fun and gum offense and see if people get upset with us. <laughs> Fun and gum. <laughs> so they're, just, they're just throwing <laughs> and chewing gum, bubble gum out there. Well, it's sticky. It's a sticky offense. <laughs> oh, they'll stick to you. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do this now, Fez. You want to wait? Yeah, I think I'm going to wait or not do it at all. <laughs> what if we do this? Call them back and say that we think that the great idea would be a Rory J Dub segment. Ooh, I'd love to hear their thoughts. Well, you know, our we just have Rory play it as an uh, as point counterpoint with a Mexican and black guy screaming at each other. <laughs> Where he's doing all the voices. Hey, thanks, Larry. Oh, I just had some beans. That's his way of doing a character. <laughs> just as broad and stupid as possible. I'm wearing my sombrero to the game, Larry. And then I heard the pussy thing even when in Alan's office, where Alan had to sit and listen to my faux pas. How does these things happen? I don't know. Who's watching out for us? Michael Hughes got a copy of it. Oh, God, I'm cringing. And then finally, Mel Carmazon was forced <laughs> to listen to it with Summer Redstone. <laughs> and then a, a copy of it was actually sent to St. Patrick's to be played <laughs> over the loudspeaker system there. <laughs> How does that happen? Oh, Hefe, that's where we need someone watching out for us. Dubs. That's where it comes in. Now, let me check with Dubs to see why he thought everything was okay. All right. And I hey, called you at home. Get yeah. in here. Yeah, because Jay Dubs actually left a message on my voicemail saying, everything's cool. Take it easy. Get some rest. <laughs>
Where did everything go wrong, Dubs? Honestly, what? I don't know. I started looking on the internet for uh, show prep for a night, and then El Jefe comes back up to me and says, hey, we got to redo the open, and a few things got cut out. All right, well, let me ask you this. We'll take it step by step. Ronnie and I cut this thing today after the 11 a.m. show. And you know that this was not in the best circumstances. No. With O'Reilly playing in the background. I mean, yeah. And Travis hit me with doors. Well, why was Dubs here not sticking up for you, demanding that O'Reilly gets turned I understand, but Dub, the fact that Dubs is the only one who shows up during the day is just helpful. So go ahead. I'm not going to blame him for showing up. Yeah. So, all right, so then Ronnie and I left. You know, wait, I know we passed the boss on the way out, and he said he was going to check it out, but everything seemed fine from what he initially heard, what we told him. Um, I get home, and you've already called me. Yeah. And you said everything's cool. Yeah, I... I so I, who told you everything was cool? Cameron told me. Okay. Cameron's, I'm like, everything's cool, they, uh... You know, and he had listened to it by yeah. then. And he said, yeah, all... But he didn't necessarily do. like it. He just thought... Oh, he, he, he was laughing his ass off the whole time. Really? Yeah. Because I got the angle from uh, El Jefe is that he wasn't laughing at all. And he found it overly he, regressive no. and thought that we pushed the jokes. I thought that we pushed the jokes too fast uh, because um, we didn't have much time. You know, this whole two and a half minutes, we're not used to that. I, I don't think there should be a time restriction. I'm going to talk to Cameron about that, too. Thank you, buddy. I got that for you. Way to go, pal. You know what I'd like to do is just take over and co-host the show with Larry. <laughs> I just uh, just do a lot of Is that right, Larry's? <laughs> I think you'd appreciate it. I like so, to do a right. little over-under gambling well, thing, too. A lot of people gamble. And I was, I was in there when they were playing it for uh, Cameron, and he's like, yeah, send it to Larry. I'm like... All right, sent to Larry. Is it going to be sent to anyone else? And they said no. Who did all go out though? I I guess everyone. So Larry I, panicked. Well, I think I think I'll have to forward it on to. Uh, wait a whatever. second! Wait a second! Please. Wait a second! Hold on, we're talking with Dubs. What happened then, Dubs? I think he forwarded it on to the lawyers <laughs> and and then... the board of directors. Why are you lying on me, man? I'm what was Larry's lying. feedback? He didn't like it? Did anyone hear from Larry? Larry thought it was great, too. I guess. Larry works a little more mainstream than us. So the only person who didn't like this was Halfback. And so that I, was just... I know. So, so far, that's what's happened so far. We've heard it from our boss that everything was great. Larry's a pal. No, is actually anybody else said that we have to re-record this other than Al Jefe who didn't like Jefe's it? Jefe's the only one, and he said, let's punch it up. Take it from the top, make it a little funnier and Wait less aggressive. That. Maybe he said it was a, a little grand. Yeah. Jackie, who's <laughs> doing nothing now. A gag writer. Wait a second here. When I got here, and I, I heard great things By the about way, what, what time did you get here? Quarter after 12? Um, this day starts at 10 a.m., my friend. About one. It ends at midnight. I got here about one. Great. It must be nice to be on that schedule. <laughs> and I say it like a British person. I so, was told by everything's who? cool by Cameron. Yeah. I was told everything's cool, but that the higher-ups... What higher-ups? Alan. Okay. Wanted us to edit out your horrible language uh-huh. because it's a family show. Yeah. So I was okay. Well, I'm going to change it to vagina or, <laughs> or cooning. <laughs> Will that work? And then I went to go talk to Chris, our imaging director, and I was like, all right, so how's everything going? How did Chris think? What did Chris think of it? Chris was like, it's good. I like it. I had to take a, I'm going to cut out about a minute of it, though. And I was like, is there any particular reason? He was like, ah, edits, this, that. When I talked to Chris, he said it was good. We're going to keep it as is. Well, you know what? You talked, at him, you talked to him earlier. So what went wrong? What did you do? I go don't in? know. I didn't do anything. Pepe, do you I... go in there with, all right, let's say... Uh... Hat in hand. He's, exactly. got a, he's got a bowler hat in his hand. I just have to... Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I just have the feeling like when J-Dubs goes into Chris, it's, hey, did you like that? I think it's really good. And everyone's like, all right, cool. Hefe, I have the feeling when you go in there, it's like, hey, do you think that thing's too long and could use a minute cut out of it? Oh, you son of a bitch. Is that what <laughs> yeah, you're doing? I think you go in again with the bad news. You're the bad news bear. Because that's what I need. I need this. That's how I go in. I think you put things in people's minds. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just open up with ass sex. <laughs> Move. <laughs> At- we can't say that? And I'll just say, here's a quote from the game. I heard the band in the background. <laughs> sure, they went crazy. <laughs> the crowd's going wild there. 
You're such a suck up, Dubs. How am I a suck up? He's not a suck up. He's the gelman of the show. When Dubs was in charge of this thing, everything was cool, and I was told not to worry about a thing and to get some rest. This is the same. How, how can that be? You know what? You, uh, uh, half they'll call you tonight and say, stay up for an all nighter. <laughs> Nothing's working. Pull, pull the rest of your hair out, Fez. Wait a second. This is the same kid you look at and says he's as dumb as a brick. He doesn't know anything better. I mean, never said that. Part. But I'm a doer. Yeah. I, I do. Wrong. You can't build a wall without bricks. You do wrong. <laughs> or a bridge. <laughs> a bridge to the 21st century. Oh, wait, we're here. <laughs> what I want you to do is just shadow Tubbs for a couple of days. <laughs> do what he does. I think you could learn some real people skills yeah. from this young man. It's all about networking, my friend. Well, you got to network like him. I would rather El Jefe stop networking. <laughs> But you stay away from the suits and hang out with the T-shirts more. Because his motto is Larry to lawyers. That's his motto. I Everything goes out from Larry Michaels to the lawyers. I bet this son of a bitch is wearing a wire right now. Oh, sure. I think we've already cut this thing. This is what they'll be playing on Saturday night. Dropping more dimes than a Brooklyn bank teller. <laughs> Every time I leave him, he's on the pay phone. Apparently, he's not happy over the pussy remark. <laughs> what? From now on, you're going you're gonna to deliver all the bad news, Dubs. I'm out. I'm I don't have any bad news. Uh, what yeah. bad news? All we gave will us not, good news today. We will not get bad news from this guy. He is... Oh, stuff needs to get done. He's the silver lining. Well, when we went, by the time I got home, this was done. I had gotten the clear from J-Dubs. How am I catching flack for something that Alan did? Because nothing, everyone was happy with this until you walked through the door. Now, That's Hefe, true. Hefe, did you go in there, talk to Alan, try to talk him through it, tell him that, you know... Explain to him how the NFL works. Yeah. Actually, Cameron said he had already had that discussion with Alan, but Alan wasn't hearing it. You need to do it yourself. You know what I want you to do? I want you to go in Alan's office tomorrow and play him one of those old John Facenda NFL films. The, old, the autumn wind is like a radar. And let him know this is how we do. This is what starts to happen when Ron and Fez lay it down. It's like hearing an old NFL film. We're Facenda for the 21st century. They didn't say pussy back then. It, it was the way it was said about a panther, a cat, a yeah. pussy. The autumn wind it. is like a pussy. A weak person. And does a pussy cat have a mouth? So obviously it would have lips. So if they <laughs> take that in a different way, that's their fault. And those that people with their minds how gutter. I meant it. Cat lips. <laughs> and anything else is just their dirty thinking. All right, well. All right, so this is all going to work out good. I and mean, let's get Dubs a nice shirt and tie and let him go in there tomorrow. Let's get him a clip on. What time are you going to be here tomorrow, Dubs? Bright eyed and bushy tailed right in the morning? Yeah, he's the best. All right, so good. I think this. I think we. I think this went well. Turn this into Larry. Yeah. <laughs> this conversation we just had. This is it. Take two minutes of that. <laughs> Dump it. Back to you, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> And just put on it from cat lips. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for us, folks. We nice. will be back tomorrow at 11 right after Howard Stern. With our own J-Dubs. Thank God for J-Dubs. Thank God for J-Dubs. Thank God for J-Dubs. Saran and Fez show. Dubs, why don't you give us a see it? See I love the way he does that. That's good. Give us another one, Dubs. Can I? See you. See you. Hefe, get away from that microphone. Hefe, the lawyers are on uh, line two. <laughs> they, they're worried about the C part of see ya. <laughs> <laughs>